Alex, I've been thinking a lot about our future lately. We're in our early 20s now, and I really want to set a goal to become a millionaire before we turn 30. Do you think that's achievable? James, it's ambitious, but definitely achievable with the right mindset and strategies. Have you thought about how you want to go about it? Not in detail. I know it involves a mix of smart investing, maybe starting a business, and being really disciplined with saving. But I don't know the specifics. That's a good starting point. Let's break it down. First, we need to talk about mindset. You have to believe it's possible and stay committed, even when things get tough. Consistency and perseverance are key. Staying motivated can be hard, though. How do you stay consistent? Setting clear, achievable goals helps. Instead of just aiming to be a millionaire, break it down into smaller milestones. For instance, aim to save or invest a certain amount each year. Also, surround yourself with like-minded people who can keep you motivated. Great advice. I suppose the next step would be to look at income sources. What do you think about diversifying income? Diversifying income is crucial. Relying on a single income source is risky. You could start with your regular job, but also look into side hustles, freelancing, and investing in stocks or real estate. I've heard a lot about side hustles. What kind of side hustles do you think are worth exploring? It depends on your skills and interests. Freelancing in your area of expertise, such as graphic design or writing, can be lucrative. Online businesses, like dropshipping or affiliate marketing, also have low startup costs. Real estate can be great if you have the capital for it. Even things like creating an app or a blog can generate passive income over time. I'm quite interested in real estate, actually. But isn't it risky, especially if you don't have a lot of money to start with? Real estate can be risky, but with proper research and planning, it's manageable. Start small. Maybe a rental property or a fixer-upper that you can renovate and sell for a profit. Also, consider real estate investment trusts, REITs, if you want to invest in real estate without owning physical property. I'll look into REITs. What about stock market investing? I've heard it can be both rewarding and risky. The stock market is indeed a powerful tool for wealth building, but it requires knowledge and strategy. Start by educating yourself about how the market works. Diversify your investments to minimize risk. Don't put all your money in one stock. Consider index funds or ETFs, which are less risky and have historically provided good returns. Index funds and ETFs, got it. Do you think I should get a financial advisor? Or can I manage this on my own? If you're just starting out, a financial advisor can be helpful. They can provide personalized advice and help you create a solid financial plan. However, as you gain more knowledge and confidence, you might choose to manage your investments on your own. There are plenty of resources and tools available to help you. I'll start small and maybe consult an advisor initially. What about saving? How much should I aim to save each month? The general rule is to save at least 20% of your income. But if you want to be a millionaire by 30, you might need to aim higher, maybe 30 to 50%. The more you can save and invest early on, the more you'll benefit from compound interest over time. Saving 30 to 50% sounds challenging, but I guess it's about prioritizing and cutting unnecessary expenses. Exactly. 
Create a budget to track your income and expenses. Identify areas where you can cut back, like eating out or unnecessary subscriptions. It's about finding a balance between enjoying life now and securing your financial future. I'll work on a budget. What about debt? Should I focus on paying off debt first or saving and investing? High interest debt, like credit card debt, should be paid off as soon as possible. It's essentially negative investment because the interest rates are usually higher than what you'd earn investing. Once high interest debt is under control, you can balance paying off other debts while saving and investing. Luckily, I don't have much high interest debt, just some student loans. I'll prioritize paying off any high interest stuff first. Speaking of student loans, do you think it's worth it to further our education, like getting a master's degree, to increase earning potential? It depends on your field and career goals. For some careers, an advanced degree can significantly boost your earning potential and open up more opportunities. However, it's important to weigh the cost of education against the potential return on investment. Sometimes gaining experience and building a strong network can be just as valuable. I'll consider it carefully. Any tips on networking and building a strong professional network? Attend industry events, join professional organizations, and leverage social media, especially LinkedIn. Don't just focus on what others can do for you. Think about how you can add value to others. Building genuine relationships will help you in the long run. Networking always seemed a bit daunting but I'll give it a shot. How important do you think it is to have a mentor? Having a mentor can be incredibly valuable. They can provide guidance, support, and insights based on their experiences. Try to find someone whose career path you admire and who is willing to share their knowledge with you. What about personal development? Any books or resources you'd recommend? There are plenty of great books out there. Some classics include Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas Stanley and William Danko, and Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Podcasts and online courses can also be helpful. The key is to keep learning and growing. I've heard of those books. I'll start reading them. How do you stay disciplined and avoid burnout while working towards such a big goal? It's important to take care of your mental and physical health. Set realistic goals and take breaks when needed. Celebrate small wins to stay motivated. Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Find a balance that works for you. I'll make sure to take care of myself. Any last tips or words of wisdom? Stay flexible and open to new opportunities. The path to becoming a millionaire isn't always straight. Be willing to pivot and adapt as needed. And most importantly, stay positive and persistent. It's a challenging journey, but with the right mindset and actions, you can achieve it. Alex. It's been a few months since we had that talk about becoming millionaires. How's everything going on your end? James, things are going well. I've started a few side hustles, and I'm getting more serious about investing. How about you? I've been focusing on my budget and savings. I also started investing in index funds and got a part-time freelancing gig. It's been busy, but I'm seeing progress. That's awesome to hear. How's the freelancing going? It's going well. I'm doing graphic design work, which I enjoy. It's nice to have that extra income, and I'm learning a lot about managing my time and clients. 
Have you thought about scaling your freelancing work or maybe turning it into a small business? I have, actually. I'm considering hiring another designer to take on more projects. What about you? What side hustles have you started? I'm doing some consulting work in my field, and I started an online store selling handmade products. It's been a lot of work, but it's exciting to see the sales coming in. How did you get started with the online store? I started by researching what products were in demand and then source materials locally. I built a simple website using an e-commerce platform and started marketing through social media. The initial setup was challenging, but it's paying off. I've been thinking about starting something similar. Any tips for someone just getting started? Start small and validate your idea first. You don't need a lot of inventory initially, just enough to test the market. Use social media and word of mouth to build your customer base. And don't be afraid to pivot if something isn't working.